This is the Conservative Desire, October 23rd, 2012. Uh, look, I don't know how you cut this up, this foreign policy debate. Uh, you know, I, I listened to Rush talk about it a little bit. Um, you know, it was a disaster for Mitt Romney. It's a disaster for the country more than anything else. And that's what I want to spend the time on. The, the um, lack of sophistication, the lack of insight on the part of Romney and Obama is alarming. Um, let me take, take you through uh, two points. One is the, the problem in Libya, I've said this over and over again, was that we decided we were going to take, off, take out Gaddafi without knowing what was going to happen when he, got, when he got taken out. Now, we know now what's going on in Libya, and it's not good at all. We didn't know who was going to take over. We, what's happening in Libya is without question a, a civil war. There might be another dictator who will take power. There will never be, there won't be a democracy. It's a civil war. And if you're going to have to make a guess, you guess the Islamist jihadists, uh, extremist terrorists, are going to take over the country. They're the ones with the, with the wind to their back. Certainly it's a chaotic, it's a terribly chaotic situation. The problem here is, is that Romney supported the Libyan effort. Again, the same principles involved. You got, Gaddafi is a bad guy, but he was powerless. He hadn't been in the terror game for decades. And, 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 and he's a bad guy. I know he's a bad guy, but there are worse guys out there, and they're going to take over Libya. And then that's the, the, the first part. That's the problem with Libya. That's why the four people died in Libya. They died because of the Obama foreign policy, deciding willy-nilly they're going to take out ex-terrorist, castrated terrorist dictators, and we're going to take them out, and we don't know who's going to replace them. That's the first alarming thing that came out of Romney-Obama. The second alarming thing that came out of Romney-Obama is this idea that we willy-nilly will take down dictators, whether they're pro-West, whether they're ex-castrated uh, uh, terrorists, or whether or not they're uh, uh, active in terror today against the interests of the United States. It doesn't make any difference which of those guys are if you don't have an idea of what's replacing them. And, and, the, and I'm going to tell you right now, in the case of Libya, Tunisia, Egypt, Syria, and every single case, worse guys are going to take over. Worse than Assad in Syria. And But here is Romney and Obama. We know Obama can't do this. Saying, oh, well, we'll, we'll pick the winners. We, 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 will, we will decide who we're going to support, and we will support them, and they will take over the government. That is, is baloney. That is just ridiculous concept. It, it, it is not possible. We don't have control of the streets over there. They do. And when I say they, I'm talking about the, the, the jihadists, the Islamic extremists. They have control of the streets. They have control of these revolutions. And, and this idea, and Romney has, and he said it over and over again, I'm going to make sure that we, 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 you know, we're going to defeat Assad. And I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to make sure I'm going to pick the right guy. That's ridiculous. People, it is ridiculous foreign policy. Uh, it's, and what's alarming is Romney agrees with it all. Uh, I, I had said before I thought Romney was going to be slightly better on these issues. I question that now. I question that. This was a, 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 de a debate. An alarming, alarming debate, and it should show all of you people the weakness of Romney. Uh, and it's it's that same old, you know, that same old moderate. You know, it, uh, he, he just he is his worldview is decided by two other groups of people. Even on foreign policy, it seems that way. He's incapable of understanding the real problems confronting us, especially in the Middle East. This is the conservative czar. See you next time.